the hardest working podcast in Portland, Oregon, man. Play no game. What's crack a lacking? Portland's most underground, but on top of the ground, dangerous podcast. The Play No Games podcast. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Explosions, dynamite. So, um, I'm Cartier Bob. Hey, well, go on. My name's Koss. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the normal one. I'm Arthur. <laughs> We're here with the, our latest installment of the Play No Games podcast wow. last show. So, if you like what we're doing, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, I got new energy on me. And the new energy on me is we're going to the top. And when I mean the top, I mean to the top of your eardrums. So we can so you can have eargasms. So you can know the truth about what's going on in this world. Anywho, um but it's consensual eargasms? Yes. Thousand ten percent. Yes. No oh. means no. What is All right, let's get into our first segment. <laughs> <laughs> so the first segment is called Play No Games. It could be positive, negative, informative. It can be anything about your day. But all you have to say is I'm ready to play no games about this. Koss said he was ready, so Cassion. Yeah, so uh I hope you guys know who I'm gonna drop here. Arthur, you might I'm playing no games about, in a bad way, about oh, Baby Gronk. Oh, my God. Okay, yes. Yeah, I knew oh he knew. I knew he would knew. Do you know? You, you know the whole I don't situation? know how he got famous, but he. Uh, lo- I know he, like, looked like Gronk, and so people, like, just called him that. And- um, More like, uh, so it's this kid. I think he's, like, in fifth grade or something like that. Maybe fourth grade. Uh, essentially, his dad has built this, like, social media monster yeah. of this kid who, like, uh, I think he, I think his dad's, like, I, I, the kid looks Latin, so I don't, but he has like a mullet and he plays tight end and he, like he plays in these like pee wee football yep. games with like uh, and he's pretty good too with um, temporary tattoos like tattoo sleeves, uh, and he's like you know moss and kids and all this stuff. But on social media, he's on there trying to flex. He's like you know I train hard so your girl likes me. All this stuff and but oh. but it's all like his dad. It's all his dad. There, um, his dad reaches out to all like the sports podcasts, like, "Hey, yo, we're training right now. We should, you know, out of us on the podcast, and it'll blow up, and all this, like, all these, and now these podcasts are all calling him out." It started with the the guys from Bussin' with the Boys, which is yep. like a bar stool. Yeah, okay. uh, Taylor Lewin was like a offensive lineman for the Titans, and his buddy also was a football guy. They kind of called it out. Where it's like, "Hey, like, I don't really like how this guy's like treating his kid and all this stuff." Pat McAfee talked about it, all these like football sports guys. Uh, and then this clip go, go goes around of like them doing a podcast, but it's like the unedited version where like the guy will ask, you know, baby grunk, like, oh, what do you do in the off season? Say fit. And the kid's like, oh, I just train a lot. And his dad's like, no, no, no. What you should say is uh, I get personal massages. And he's, oh, like, yeah. and he's like, hey, bro, ask that question again. And I was like, he's like, he like, oh, baby Gronk, how do you train in the uh, in the off season? And then he'll be like, I get massages like the kid. Like, it's disgusting. And it's like his dad building him up and just like pretty much destroying his childhood. <laughs> so I want to bring that to light. How gross it is. I think it's a bad version of big baller brands uh, yeah a lot of people um, are saying like you know what lavar wasn't so bad like and it is is it's crazy to see how we've taken the social media to solve problems and create this foundational success and it's like to me it's like it's getting overtly out of control and i mean it, it taps into all markets though because there's a i was looking on um High school prep or something like that. It's a it's a fifth grader who just got a, the largest NIL deal for a fifth grader ever, and he has six contracts for different things. And it's like, yo, this kid is in sixth grade. Like, yeah, like we're already throwing money at kids for these contracts. Oh, he was a part of Snoop's Snoop Dogg's league. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. and it's like, yo, like. We're throwing thousands of dollars at these kids to promote and push and push these messages. It's like, when do we get out of this fantasy of money and allow kids to be kids? Yeah. 
Like, you can't be a kid and be like a social media star. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I'm just saying. Hear me this. You know, you're a big Lavar Ball guy. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids learn better when they aren't told. They got to see. So what if he's showing him to do the wrong things first? Oh, uh, yes. I'm just saying, look at this. He's like, you know, maybe there's an unedited, unedited version of what we didn't see. But my, my thing is, is, is you're still perpetuating a stereotype of things that are going on in society that aren't right. Right. Like even as a father. You're putting your kid through trauma because what if this kid get to high school and be like I'm done playing football I don't even want to play no more. Yeah, but how many times do we jump into other people's business soon? Because like, there's a lot of things no, that absolutely. are telling people telling we're tell a lot of sometimes because we gotta get up to, we got we got we got to do this. We ain't got kids yet, <laughs> and sometimes we telling parents how to parent their kids and we don't know maybe the kid's the true monster when we close the door he's like bring me my tricks tricks are for kids (laughs) his dad defends the whole thing by saying like (laughs) yeah yeah. (laughs) that's funny tricks Uh, are for kids his uh his dad defends it by saying like this is gonna you know essentially take care of him for his whole life he won't like even if he doesn't make it football he'll never have to work and whatever and i get that argument but uh, you still should have a childhood because otherwise, then you become a child when you're like in your twenties. Did Did you see the 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 meetup with Olivia or whatever? Yeah, with Livy Dunn, that and, was, and it was like I wanted to scratch my eyes out. It was like a constructed meetup trying to help. Oh my god, did you see Baby Gronk rizzed up, lived on? Like that was like <laughs> that was like the social media like yeah. title. Yeah, it was it was disgusting. <laughs> it was so Robert's dis- face when I said that. <laughs> it it was disgusting. Okay, <laughs> allegedly I was out and about, and I'll, I'll say this shit was funny. It was so funny. <laughs> I was at Zara right, and I was shopping, and um, oh. in downtown Portland. Yeah, I was in the women's section for what? With a woman? The, in him, uh-huh. um, Goo Goo Gaga. <laughs> I, and and there's this kid. There's a little Asian boy, right? And there's this mannequin, right? So, literally, literally, like, we're one person is shopping, and I'm looking at this little Asian boy in front of the mannequin, like, mm, like he's looking his lips. And then, like, he literally grabs the, the mannequin's boobs and vagina and just, like, it, like is hiding under her dress. <laughs> and, yes, yes, yes. And, like, so maybe, you know, that Riz, you know, he started him young with the Riz game, you know? No. Maybe he's Donald Trump Jr. No, I think that's, that's fire. Um, but it it happened in real. I li- we literally <laughs> watched a little boy do that. But what do you? But what are you teaching your? I always wanted to do that as a kid, but I knew my mom would smack the shit out of me <laughs> if I did. But where's the consent? And you know, where's the consent at? Where's the mannequin's consent? Mannequin challenge. Anywho. Mannequin challenge. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I think we've stressed it enough. Robert, we play no games about. Uh <laughs> my oh man's my, my man said he won some boy. He wasn't playing. Um I will say into it today. Go ahead. I'm just, real things happen in my life. Uh when I'm playing no games about, man, I had something and then it like ducked out, but you know. I'm gonna go old school. What I'm playing no games about is help. I feel like we live in this day and age where there's a yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Fuck off. Where like um I feel like we don't know how to ask for help. Like everyone lives in like assumptions and like when we look at different empires, it is not stressed that those people had to literally pad leap on different entities and asking for help. So I want to just talk about how, how I've been like asking from help from people and how like that's been impactful. Cause as a person, I've always felt that, Oh, I have to do this all by myself. So I want to play no games about, you know, truly asking for help and the vulnerability around it. I think, uh, 
it's important to learn how to ask for help. And I, I think what you're saying is, is real. It's a real thing. Um, but I think for those that don't know what help looks like, also don't know how to ask for help. So it's like learning how to ask for help, which is within yourself. Like, especially if you're someone who gives help all the time, how do you want to receive that help? Um, that's what you should be looking for and looking how to ask. So a thousand percent. Like I'm a natural like giver of help. So when when are you guys asking for help most often? Ooh. I'll say for me it's at work without a doubt. I always have questions. Uh damn good question. That's tough. I would say in life, just like when it comes to like a lot of the minute things. Um, but to be more specific, I would say writing papers because my grammar is trash. Grammarly. I know. It's still trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you use AI, man, man. Uh, yeah, well, we're getting there. Now you use it in a couple of years. <laughs> College essay coming soon. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, what do you call it? Um, I was just say, yeah. Um, yeah, I would say I appreciate hearing that from y'all. Just, um, I think for me to answer Kazan's question, I think for me asking for help is say that, actually say that again one more time. Oh, where do you ask for help the most often? Oh, most often, I would say I ask for the most help most often is for like little things that I know I can do. And I feel like I give people an opportunity to show up for me. I feel like that in so many ways is disingenuous where like there's other things that I need help in and I have and I have this masking feature of like, oh, I don't need help. I'll figure it out. So to answer your question and to further your question is that's when I do it the most asking for help. But the true help that I just spoke about is in the sense of I that's what I need to do better. Asking for help for things that I do not know and things that produce extra stress and not the normal stress. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Arthur. Yes, sir. What I'm playing no games about today will make you look in the mirror a little bit. It's your ego. Yo, some of y'all, maybe even including myself, Got to check your ego. Check your ego. Where you are when it comes to your personal ego. Is it affecting you positively? Is it affecting you negatively? Check it. Check it. Check in on yourself and figure out if you taking things personal, is you really you or is it bigger than that? Um, I think we have to begin to look at ourselves in the mirror and all not always take things personal. That's what I'm playing no games with. <clears throat> what I really should have said I was playing no games about is the the Spideyverse into the Spideyverse two soundtrack. But the reason I why like the reason why I'm bringing this to movie soundtracks, movie soundtrack. Yeah, the reason why I'm bringing it up is like I feel like the music from that album has really been challenging my ego. Mm. If I'm being honest with you. Oh, so in a way of like combining what I was playing no games about the help. Where it's like, even heroes got to take off their mask, bro. Like, I just want to go home. <laughs> like, mm. I like I can't do this all by myself. Like, there's like four songs I really drive with. But like, it's so interesting you fucking said that. Because I was thinking about there during my workout. Because even though the movie came out like a couple weeks ago, that play, that soundtrack is, is still in rotation. It slaps. I haven't seen the movie, so I got to sit for that. I want to go home, home, home. But yes, yeah. So what's up? What cost? What what's the, what's the number one topic we talking number about? Number one today? topic. Uh, this was a topic that I actually I was talking to my coworker today. Oh, sorry, sorry to interrupt the dragon from coming in. Please come in. I was just going to drop something about Spider Verse. Uh, a good movie. Uh, B. Horrible working conditions for the animators. Uh, oh, yeah. thank you for sharing that. Sorry. Just yeah, and, who, and, who, and, and, and who's at fault there? 
Is it Marvel? Is it Sony? Uh, probably Sony. Sony? Sony. Okay, good to know. Sorry. Throw your PlayStation in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first topic. You guys know who Adam-22 is? No. No jumper! No jumper. Maybe possibly groomed a minor in his past. But nonetheless, we won't get into that. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. Allegedly. Yikes. Um, <laughs> anyways, so he has been with uh, this corn star um, for a while now. I think like close to 10 years. Uh, and 10 they, years? Something like that. Like I remember them being together since like 2015, 2014. Yeah, so they've been together for a while. She's, she's younger than him. Uh, Leanna the Plug, if anyone wants to tw- Twitter search her. You've been warned. Um, but uh, Adam22 being the host of the No Jumper uh, podcast and having all the hip hop guys on and whatnot. Um, Leanna the Plug being a corn star. They've always done, see- her scenes have always been with him. They got married like a month ago. And now that they're married, he's letting her do scenes with other male talent, let's say. Um, and I kind of I thought I thought that was interesting that they had to wait until they were married, or at least you know in his mind, to wait until they were married to uh for him to let another male wait, 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 do a scene with wait, his uh, wait, wife. Wait, before before we go, how did you figure out this information? Twitter, Twitter. Are you sure it wasn't so, a yeah, dark it was, place? It's all over Twitter. Oh. Not following the profile? No, I cannot. Yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> Get the mic, so it's <laughs> <laughs> Leanna the plug. Um, uh, that's funny. No, I can't watch their scenes. That guy's disgusting to look at. Adam twenty two. Sorry, go, go ahead. I know you got. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say. He's got nothing to say. No. This is a whole rabbit hole we can get into. Like, would you let your partner get into corn only fans? If you were the male, if you were the male, okay, both of you, if you were the male talent, your face was not on display, just, you know, waist <laughs> down, let's say, uh, would you, would you make content for her and make like, you know, if 10, she, 20 grand a if month? If she allowed me to, I would think about it, but I don't think I would. Like, it would be hard. It would be a hard no. Like, it would be like, oh, fuck. But I'd be like, no. Mm-hmm. Especially like if, especially if we're married, absolutely not. It's not no question. Yeah. But if we were together, like short term, we'd be like, "Ooh, is it worth it?" And then, but I'd be like, "No." Yeah. So we're talking about like you can make five hundred k. You got to do one sex scene, and it's uh, and- you got to do more than one. No, 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 five hundred. Okay, fifty k. And. You only had to do one, and it was with your wife. Oh, if it's with my wife, absolutely. We we getting down. Oh yeah, you're doing that with my wife. Hell yeah. But her, like her face and body is everywhere, like, everywhere. But your you, face and body, no, everywhere. No, let's say guy wise, it's just like waist down. It's like a POV, you know? Absolutely. Okay. At, we getting down. No, no, we, we are raising states for fifty k. Oh, you're saying whole face and body? Oh, everything. Is this on? Is this Me? on the hub? Or yeah, is this and on your wife. Fans? Oh, that's tough. Okay, we'll raise the hundred k. Nah, I gotta go up. I gotta, gotta go, go up. up. I gotta go up. You still do it? Uh, hundred? Uh, no, I gotta go up. Okay, two hundred. Five hundred k. Five hundred k. Face in her. We gonna have a conversation. If she agree, and I agree, oh, absolutely, we getting down. We getting down. How are we gonna do this? Show, show y'all the work. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't think we. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. What, what no. about you, Robert? No, not at all. No, no, never. never. Not even with your wife. Not even my wife. I don't need to. Y'all need to see that. I'm a fucking walking homicide. You know, get the white chalk. You know, I beat it up and then. Resus- resuscitated. That's how good I am. Y'all ain't seen none of that. <laughs> okay. <Gross. laughs> Gross. All I'm saying is, like you and Andrew both. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I really wish y'all could see this on the visual. Our guy Andrew is wearing one of the flyest shirts. King of fucking president of Miami right now. Yeah, he's the president of Miami. <laughs> hey, he's gonna give DeSantis a run for his money. Yeah. <laughs> he's trying to get the education at the school. He's trying to get the, Andrew gonna get the swag in the school. Hey, Andrew's representing Disney. <laughs> <laughs> but to kind of like go further with it. The reason why I'll say there would never be a place in time for me in my, like, I'll say this. I could do a home movie that's just between me and my person. What if it got leaked, though? It won't. Um, <laughs> would you be okay if it's like on OnlyFans and there's a no, paywall? No, and only no, like people leaking that shit by the day. Uh, dude, a lot of people are getting sued for leaking stuff on OnlyFans. Hey, look here. There's a desperate nigga in Colorado in his mom's basement uh, trying to, you know, really, you know, come up come up like he, he he'll risk it all <laughs> all i'm saying is i feel like because we definitely have to say this to you know our sex workers and all the other jazz you know y'all can do what y'all want but let's keep it a band though we're like i feel like yes we live in we live in a site we could do and say what we want but it's like that's not divulged of the consequences literally i was watching a video of this man um cuss out this lady and then saying, I'm going to punch you in the face. Punched her in the face. She texts her son. Son gets the gun and sprays him. So, did that whole situation have to escalate to that? No, but I'm saying it's consequences to, you know, die actions where it's like, I know I'm making like a heavy like leap between corn and your life, but it's almost kind of like things we do have ramifications and like forever that those people's lives were ever affected and that interrupts doors so you can kind of walk through those kind of like the ever and i guess I, the reason i went that far is like corn has that type of effect on people when you get into the industry it's but, everlasting but do you not feel like a lot of those artists have transitioned out and been successful because there's a few that have and they're Ooh. not known for their i'm I would say like I don't know specifically who, but I, I'm like I feel like a lot. There's a lot of different sex workers who've trans, like especially some in the music industry that have transferred out and made, been successful, or even um, some that transitioned into movies that have been successful. Fact Dragon, can you can you check that? Um, there's you know, like Mia Khalifa does like a sports podcast, and look at it now. I don't know if it's doing. She great couldn't on. even get a construction job. They're like, "Look here, man, <laughs> we can't have you doing this." Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like me and Khalifa. I don't mean she could do whatever she wants. She can find her, but like people can't can't walk around and act like there's like there's not another side to this. We're like me and Khalifa. Sorry, what am I fact checking? Uh, sex workers who transition and be successful that are successful. Okay. And we're acting like, you know, I'm not going to lie. I would not want me to be my future son's or daughter's third grade teacher. Damn. So you're, you're saying once you've done it, you can't leave it. It's hard, too. But you're, but for me, it's like... It limits jobs you can do. But what, but what, I'm, what I'm saying is like... We've begun to normalize it in society where to the point where a lot of them are getting insurance, all that type of stuff, creating a union. And you're saying it's still not normal enough for them to be a teacher afterwards. So if they've done it for 10 years and now they're 35, whatever. And during the process of them doing that, like I like uh, what's her name, who's in the process of going to law school. Um, who's a huge browser person who's always at the Miami games and stuff, married to some lawyer dude. Um, I can't think of her name right now, but like, like huge. You couldn't have her go teach a class in law school. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or you couldn't have her go teach a class to some high school students. Like, you see what I'm saying? College like, and high school. Or even, middle or school, even elementary vastly school. Different. Or even elementary school. But like, what I'm saying is their maturity level of college students. That even if someone was being rude enough to be like, "All right, this person did this in another part of their life," we're asking 
youth to be like, all right, <clears throat> this person did this, where it's almost kind of like, but you're not telling this person's not getting hired and going to a school and be like, oh yeah, I did corn back in my day, right? It's I'm a teacher. I'm your so-and-so teacher. Duh, 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 duh. We go through the day, and as those kids get older, they're like, oh, let me go find so-and-so teacher. Oh, she did this? But that's as they got older. That's not as when they're a kid. They're not in third grade looking at that. The parents, the administration, it's like if I show up to school on a speed and say you have to tolerate how I go through my day, but there's a certain standard. Said with this, I think uh, I think there's certain stuff specifically like protecting children uh, and the innocence of childhood, um, where I would prefer not see ex sex workers working in schools. It's just like they. It's not. I'm just saying. I uh, I want to make sure I'm being clear. It's it's not that I don't want them to have like um, humanity. That's what it sounds like. No, it doesn't. They can't I, change their heart. And, and do some There's other things they can do. There's other things they can do. So my thing is, if someone is almost kind of like this, if someone, I'll, I'll, I'll go to the extreme then. If someone went to jail and they were like a pimp, right? They did their time. No, they shouldn't work in any type of entering role, youth role. They can be a construction worker. I feel That's like, different. No, it's, That's different to me. That's different. There's there's choice. It, to me, that sounds like choice and non-choice, right? As a pimp, you're you're in control in dictating something. You are in you're controlling a situation. So are like OnlyFans girls. They control. They, their- they're controlling themselves and yeah. choosing to do A, B, C, and D. They're not being in control of or well. Allegedly, I don't, I don't know. I oh, know there's, 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 there's that aspect of it, but no, but, I mean, yeah. like the trafficking aspect. Yeah. But also, like, when it comes to my thought, uh, in from outside perspective of what a pimp does, is it's different. There's a, there's a sense of drastic manipulation in order to put somebody in a situation that they might not want to be put in. And that's different than controlling the situation that you oh, put yourself let me, in. Let me take away from a pimp. If someone racketeered money, you could not be a bank teller. If they but it happens for, all the time. I'm they saying, still do. <laughs> they still do. For the small percentage of people who done that. But I'm just saying, if you're a bank, you're going to be looking at, oh, you just got out of prison for uh, laundering money. Yeah, I'm going to put you in front of my teller. It's, it's not going to say I got out of prison for rump, for laundering money. Gonna say, no, but they run a background check. Convicted felon, but it's it's still like at that point you're probably not going to get hired. Period. Because at a bank, I don't think they're going to hire felons. So that doesn't really add up to the situation as a whole. Like that's what I'm saying. Like when it comes to night work or sex work, whatever you want to call it. Like yes, there's a stigma and stuff attached to it, but there's still, there's plenty of people who do that work and go be a doctor in the morning, and sometimes that pays for their 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 way through school. Sometimes that like, and I think that's what we have to dissociate is a lot of people, from what I know, allegedly do it for the money aspect, right? It's a job, and and you can't. I understand that. I feel like you guys are dehumanizing it to say but isn't they that, can't be a teacher if they go do this work. They can't do certain lines of work because they do this work. Isn't that more telling that in our society that someone is a doctor, allegedly as you're claiming, if they can't, if their first livable wage cannot sustain their lifestyle, that's more telling about our society and where we're at. If a doctor has to do that, then also at night do that. And let's borrow, let's just say it's beyond just like if they're doing that to sustain themselves. But fact, Dragon. All right. So per, per Vice and HuffPost and a separate organization which helps women get out of uh, human sex trafficking, um, there's not a lot of information on how many women actually get out. And due to the amount of criminalization around voluntary sex work, 
as well as involuntary sex work, a lot of women don't make it out or don't let their past lives kind of seep in to what their future career is, whether it's teacher, doctor, have you. So there's just not a lot of information out there as far as where they go. That's all. Thank you. The information is, I don't know. No <gasps> one seems to know. The first, I don't know. Dragon. I'm sorry, AJ. Um, but to your point, AJ, nothing against saying like, yeah, they can be doctors. It's nothing against that. Yeah. We're not, we're not yeah, saying they don't, they're not capable not of that. that, but it's the aspect of, <clears throat> sorry. um, the, the child aspect that me as like a, a person in our society, I would not feel comfortable with that. But don't some of them have children? What if they do? Right. So if they have a child and take their kid to third grade, yeah, school, but I also think it's irresponsible for someone that works in the sex industry to have children. <laughs> I'm not on that train because then it's like <laughs> because then the kid has to pay for that. I, wow! Wait, wait, wait! I wow. understand where you're. Wait, <laughs> I know that's a hot take, but no, I'm no, not, that is a hot take. Yeah. I understand. Wait, wait, we're on different trains now. I definitely <laughs> think people who have sex work should have children. You can do what you want. They, they can have children if they want. I just don't think it's the most responsible thing in the world. Same with like, actually, I'm not going to go there. No, 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 I get Go ahead. Say no, it, no, no. Wait, before you go. Well, I feel like, and this is why I want to say this before you go, is I have a feeling, or it's not a feeling, I've lived a life experience of what we do as our adult selves affect our kids. Absolutely. So I agree. My thing is, we don't live in a mature society where this is where, like, I want to bridge the gap of, like, I, for, like, a sex worker, right, or someone who's not sex trafficked, I want to make sure we're having that distinction when we're talking about someone who Absolutely. chooses yeah. OnlyFans, yes. not as someone who's, yeah, I got put into that life, someone who's choosing that, right, that's their choice they made, so they have to deal with the consequences of what that happens with their actions, where it's kind of like, I feel like people... It, it's like disingenuous where like my lifestyle is like this. So you have to make this adjustment where like, I feel like if you were Muslim, right. And you were like, all right, I need like, when you're around me, I need you to eat pork, not, not eat pork, not eat pork. Right. Out of respect. But it would be disingenuous for you to be like, all right, when I'm not around, if you respect our relationship, don't eat pork. Right. Where I feel like that's infringing upon me when I'm saying like, there's consequences, ramifications of the action. So my point I want to make is, yes, what your parent does does affect the kid. And I will just say, I feel like it would be harder if your mom or dad or however your parent identified has like a sex tape. Because look at Kim Kardashian's kids. But at the end of the day, it is a job. I think that's the mistake that we lose out. It's the type of job. Yeah, it, it might be rambunctious. But if your 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 partner is a, a custodial staff and who works evening shifts right go leaves at 7 30 at night and cleans a building comes home at four four o'clock in the morning whatever the case may be you don't know what your parent is doing you know they go to work unless they intertwine the two and on some some ridiculousness intertwine the two you don't know what your parent is doing for work unless they tell you what they're doing for yeah. work so but, for me in my perspective to say that these folks shouldn't have kids is irresponsible is is an outlandish thought because irresponsibility doesn't matter about the job you have it's the role in which you are as a parent and i and i think there's parents who have fortune 500 jobs were highly irresponsible with their kids. So it doesn't matter about what you do as, as a job. It's what you do to take care of your child. I understand. My point of view of on it is, um, like you mentioned, a lot of times, though, those parents that do work, let's say your mom made her wealth, made her money through OnlyFans, she's probably not going to tell a child what she did. But then that child's going to probably discover it through friends, showing him, hey, look, here's your mom. How do you know? That's because that's it's what, it's, what, it's my, what happens, man. Uh, but my thing to that is, it's the same thing as drug lord parents. That's also irresponsible. But my but my thing to that <laughs> is, it regardless of regardless of what they do, 
and how and what they tell their kid. Wait, like, I, don't think, wait, 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 I don't think someone's gonna be like, "Hey, your dad's a drug killer, or your mom's a drug killer." They're like, "You're gonna, you're gonna get killed." <laughs> My point: there was there was literally there's this OnlyFans model from England. Her name's Ella, I, I believe Ellie. Uh, she was on an interview with Pierce Morgan, and Pierce Morgan asked her that question, where it's like, "What will your kids say when kids bring up the fact that doesn't your mom work like work uh, as a sex worker?" And you know what she said? She said, "You can cry about it in the Lamborghini." That that to me that is an irresponsible response. How? Because she doesn't care about the kids' feelings. She doesn't care about what her child thinks because they have money. Because but at but at the end of the day, she's if, trading. She's trading like the mental health of her child and like the sanction of her family for money. Think about the but think about the parents who have five Fortune five hundred companies and they're making billions of dollars a year. Okay, and they're traveling all over the world, leaving their kid at home, and maybe see their kid twice or three times a year. And you don't think about abandonment issues for their kids. They don't, yeah, you I'm don't. not saying that's. I'm not saying so. That's not. Right, it it doesn't matter about it doesn't matter about the money aspect of it. It's how the kid is raised. If you're talking to your kid and telling them that you're gonna be strong, don't allow someone, to, and you raise your kid well, yeah, that information might be overwhelming to a kid. But you sit down with that kid during the time. This is how I used to make my money, but this is how I don't. I don't do that anymore. Or I still do this. I just want to keep this private. You know, hopefully you don't see it, whatever the case may be. What I don't know that conversation. I don't have kids, first things first. And secondly, I don't have OnlyFans. So at the end of the day, like, I can't say what a, a parent is going to say. What I can say from looking at an outside perspective is that it doesn't matter about what the parent does. It doesn't matter. It's about how you raise your kid. My question is to you is, could you have a spouse that has a OnlyFans career? No, because no, because I, as a man, as a man, in my thought, in my idea of what a relationship is, is that we are working together to be successful, and and that is away from selling your body or selling out in that aspect. That isn't something that I confide with. If that's someone else's choice to go do that, that's their choice. I'm not telling them what they can and can't do. My wife, absolutely, because that's my wife. And, and we're not going to be married if that's what she wants to do. If you want to go do that, go do that. I'm going to go find somebody else who doesn't want to do that. I'm not knocking them. That's not going to be my wife. I was thinking. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Um, but like you said about parents banning their child. Yes, I don't think those are fit. To be, those people are fit to be parents, and I think that's not healthy for children either. But I think there is... You can say that money's money at the end of the day, but how you make that money, I think, does play a factor. Um, whether whether you, that puts your kids in risk, whether that's, you know, you're a drug lord, so your family's constantly in danger and doing illegal actions, or if it brings shame to your name or your family. That does, at the end of the day, unfortunately, have an impact on a child growing up. At the end of the day, Kim Kardashian made a porno. And her family is wealthy as heck from it. And, but are they? But are they? And, but are they mentally and, sane? Are they? Are they stable? But kids, it, pieces of mind. If, <laughs> just fact, your kid is playing Minecraft, having fun. Or Roblox. Yeah, Roblox. And add. It's your mom busting it wide open. You're like, mommy, what's this? And you're just like. But at the end, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, those conversations need to be had with the parent. They have the money to have those conversations. They have the money to be there. They're with their kids. They raise their kids well. From oh, so outside should... perspective, from what I, from what I, allegedly, they raise their kid well. So also, I should specify when I say like sex workers and it's irresponsible. I'm I'm leaving. I'm excluding strippers. I know that's a small detail, but to me, th those are the working class with sex workers. Those people do it to get get money. I'm talking about the OnlyFans and like porn star or corn star. They're, they're the same clip. Oh, no, oh. They're, they're not because a, a stripper is someone you see locally. She sees maybe 100 to 500 people uh, in a region at most a thousand if, if it's a touristy area. Um, You don't know about strippers that travel, bro. OK, that's like a select few. I'm talking about the oh. local little at stars strip club down the street <laughs> who like is uh, to me. That's worse. <laughs> To no, me, because that to me, no, to me, that's because if, if they're seen in public and this person, 
that's worse. To me, it's way worse to expose your body and everything on the entire internet. Where the- you're, you're exposing your body to the whole neighborhood. Everybody in the neighborhood. <laughs> your kids. It takes a neighborhood to raise a child. Your kids. <laughs> Yo! Well, um, I did not expect things to go this far. Yeah, me neither. Um, but you know, we gotta get deep, and we gotta get real deep. And um, bust it wide open, anyway. You know who else was busting it wide open? Oh no! Uh, Fact Drag, I'm gonna need your help. I don't know if it was called the Challenger, but you know, the Titan, the Titan. <laughs> the, the Titan met uh uh what's his name uh on the Titanic Rose and Lily you know DiCaprio yeah, they, they they met them <laughs> nothing you're nothing, good nothing, get away well, I want to talk to y'all about the social <laughs> sensation because we had a break last week um oh, about the Titan dude everywhere it was everywhere submarine best submarine joke go ain't got one. God, best submarine joke. Um, I like Subway sandwiches. Ooh, anywho, um, <laughs> damn. So, what's your best submarine joke? Yeah, give us one, huh? Yeah, since you've been prepared, don't crack under pressure. There's a good hey, one right there. Let's go. <laughs> My best one is. What do you think their final moments were? I'm just curious. Do the. It it happens in like a thirty milliseconds. Less is less than that. Like a third of a millisecond, something like that. Like it literally, like you can't snap fast enough. And they how- said, and I was watching this clip on YouTube about it too, and they were talking about how hot it hot it would have gotten yeah. in there. It's like it the surface of the sun or something. Like yeah, that. it would it would have literally melted them before it even exploded. Pressure is a motherfucker, man. <laughs> and diamonds. Uh-huh. Cause it's not it's not air pressure, it's it's pressure from the water. Diamonds are forever. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just texted all of you guys pictures of the sub after. Oh they they found, found it. it. They uh with yeah. bodies. They re- uh, send uh send that to the they so recuperated I can put that. it today. It's I deleted to the, for the other day. So we can talk put it on the video later. They found it. Diamonds. Are so forever. while while we're looking at that, the image with will, human remains. The the image will be up. So once again, billionaires out here doing billionaire shit. Um, let's talk about how they didn't follow the FTC F- FTC FTC regulations. Like, how arrogant do you have to be? Oh yeah. Um, before we kind of get to it, because like there's like a point why I'm bringing this up. Like, where were y'all at during that submarine countdown? Because I could tell you where I was at. I was at home. I was I was like they got forty when they started the clock and they got forty eight hours of of um of oxygen is that Stephen A clip we don't care <laughs> they're not gonna make it yeah yeah I had very low expectations that they would survive that um because all of the things it was like a needle in a haystack uh and at the end of the day. It was shoddy build quality. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yes. I, I I don't know. I just for me, it's not. Even, it's like I don't know. It's like not watch TV for me. Like it just was like you weren't. A, you you not I didn't care. I didn't, didn't care. care. Damn. Uh, to, I, I mean, to, honest, I was I was I was invested. I was invested. I I was, I, invested. I was like on you. I was watching the clips on YouTube. My thing is, it's like. There's so much other things that are going on that are more important than name one, please. Uh, Florida DeSantos situation that's going on. Oh, I hate politics. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean the missing the missing immigrants that went missing in the ocean. Like at the same time as this happening, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, like, I see a lot of people bring that up. I get it. I get so it. like, there's there's so much more important things and. This about a, a rich guy in a submarine a who was told not to go down before he went and he still was an idiot. That, like, submarines are really cool and that's why it was interesting. It was a man-made, ridiculously made submarine. And it was just one man. It was five very rich men. <laughs> I find that's what I'm saying. That we get only fans people could do this, but submarine people can't do exactly. that. So, so, irresponsible. Irresponsible. <laughs> irresponsible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a the TikToker, the famous TikToker who did the 
there was a famous TikToker who did like the day before he went inside and was like trashing how bad it looked, how oh, really? like terrible it was to be in there. Like, um, and just like, but it's my thing is, is like this dude is so hard headed and to the same extent, like you've been told no multiple times. Don't take this down. It's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. And you're still going to do it anyway and see what happened. You ain't going to make it. So it's, it's, Stupidity at its finest, and to me, that means you're an idiot, and I'm, I don't care. So, I think I was watching The Breakfast Club, and they literally, while during like the countdown, they had a job posting for um, a marine, uh, pretty much like an engineer to like the pilot, pilot the next one. Like it wasn't even like the clock wasn't even out, and they had a yeah. job posting up. I said, "What the holy fuck!" And then also. I think they were also trying to like have like a a space version for this. <laughs> so I was like, man. Oh, these... you're talking about the Richard Branson Virgin Airline one, the Galactic, bro. I think what's that one? That one's four hundred thousand or something like that, and you can it's go stupid. go to space and experience zero gravity and come back. <laughs> I'm a dry eye fly. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that place. Uh, <laughs> um. Okay. I guarantee you a safe trip. Would you go in a submarine no. to see the Titanic? No. Hell no. No, you guys aren't Hope interested. on a green screen. <laughs> <Is that just, laughs> I don't know. I find that the deep ocean interesting. That's that white boy in you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, dude. I, I love watching deep sea documentaries. All, like, all the That's time. what I'm going to watch it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm do it. The where's day your, I got it. Jacuso adventure side, come on! An airplane to the other side of the world. That's it. That's <laughs> as far as I. <laughs> and you wouldn't go to space on like Richard Hell Branson's no. plane? Hell no! Nah. I'm already floating. You're like the edge of space. You're not quite in space. I'm floating in space right now. I guess. No, you have 13 pounds of gravity on you. Very true. And they had way more. Never mind. Um. <clears throat> anywho, I had 300. <sighs> mm-hmm. So. Like that. The real reason besides the submarine I wanted to bring up is something that we're not talking about. Our last topic was very spirited, which was very interesting. I, I love the spiritedness of it. But the real reason why I wanted to bring up the submarine is not because of the billionaire stupidity or not because potentially that 19-year-old didn't lose his virginity. No, allegedly. Oh, the Pakistan son of the billionaire? And is, no, the kid's rich. He, he definitely lost his virginity. Hopefully. I hope. That would Why is that a top? Like what? What? I'm just saying. Have a little fun. Come on. Come on. You never know. Like, that, that would be Dude, horrible. That stick out your butt. <laughs> that man is dead and gone. Yeah. Justin I, Timberlake, dead I, and gone. And okay. I hope, <laughs> and I hope he didn't die. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? Hope he got reincarnated. But anywho. Who in in Cassian? <laughs> but the real reason I'm bringing yeah. it up is literally <laughs> social media was talking about. I think the stepson of one of the billionaires and how he was at a party in 182 concert and he has an only fans friend. <laughs> he was hitting on this only fans girl. I have things to back that up. So my yeah. question is, if y'all knew I was 30 feet under <laughs> and I you knew I wasn't coming back. Yeah. What concert are y'all going to play? <laughs> Would y'all be out? Is like, are we the question I have for y'all? Are we jumping to conclusions by having and judging him for being at a Blink-182 concert while his dad was dying. Whoa. There's there's two sides of that coin to me, right? One, your dad. Stepdad. Stepdad. Um, says he built a safe thing, so he's thinking he's expecting a return. Two, he don't give a fuck. He <laughs> gets that money. He's getting that money now. I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid. He said only had $100 for his name. What? He said he only had a hundred dollars for his name. Not anymore. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe there's some people mourn different ways. You know, maybe he needs to get out, not be inside, and hmm. sad and loves Blink One Eighty Two. Don't know why he would, but you know, so. that's why I wasn't bringing it up because, like, I feel like sometimes we jump to conclusions with grief sometimes because people mm-hmm. will experience grief in no. different ways. Now, him messaging the OnlyFans girl, that was very cheeky of him. That I mean, was, he's trying to get some stress out, right? He, Make like, an OnlyFans he, video. He's like, please pray for my dad or please pray for my stepdad or something on like that on that chick's uh, Twitter. Really? 
Yeah. That's weird. So it's yeah, that exactly. It was her his oh account. They have flirty banter all the time and she uh, was the only person to you know you know uh break him off a him, piece of that Kit Kat bar, provide him comfort. So they have like a funny relationship. Get a piece of that fancy feast. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the second he said that, that's all I can think. Of. Well, you know, linking our other conversation, you know, she can definitely tell her children and be like, "Hey, I consoled the submarine oh. billionaire dad." You know, accomplishment. Mm. And they'll uh, throw themselves off the house. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's just like, Ooh. why do we like once again? You know, I'm not trying to you know be too much of an asshole, but uh, jokingly, but like, what if that was his true coping mechanism, where it's kind of like, there's nothing you can do. Like, good for him then. Oh, am I supposed to say something? I'm just curious. Okay. I don't give a fuck. His dad died in one third of a millisecond. <laughs> God bless him. And everyone else in that submarine. Stepdad. I hope it was as quick as all the scientists say it was. Oh, I. I, I, we, I we all know what really got him. What? You don't think they fake their deaths? I'm just saying that we have more pictures of the moon than we have of the bottom of our sea for a reason. Godzilla? There's something down there. There's things down there, I'll say that. Yeah, absolutely. There's things that are bigger than houses and boats oh, and Yeah. I mean It could be the water pressure or it could be something else. It That's could be it. under pressure. <laughs> 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 I'll say this something other than Rose and Jack something else living in that Titanic yeah probably yeah bodies <laughs> <laughs> anywho that's all I have so you know speaking of bodies uh, everybody ain't young anymore but you know he got a new opportunity uh, we gonna we gonna flip over to the sports podcast and talk about your older body Chris Chris Paul Going to uh, Golden State Warriors. He got traded from Phoenix to Washington. Yeah. And Washington traded him for Jordan Poole. Great and, trade for the Wizards. And uh, yeah. picked up picked up uh, Jordan Poole in, in exchange for Chris Paul and, and some other stuff to, to Golden State. And so, yes, this is a sports podcast for me. I think it was a great trade, um, ultimately because of for who, for Golden State. IQ wise, IQ wise, um, the game changes there, or it in it enhances the game there. Second, second, Chris Paul doesn't have to play a whole game. Um, third, third, they need a true passing point guard. Now it gives. Curry an opportunity to play, continue to play off ball. It gives him a third passing option, and uh, and Chris Paul only gets hurt in the playoffs. So, <laughs> yeah. I, what do you I guys find think? it interesting that the Warriors, who were too small and too old, made this move to get smaller and older, mm -hmm. uh, and more injury prone, and more injury prone. I like Chris Paul. I have nothing against Chris Paul. Man. With a grain of salt, I say that. But um, I don't see how he brings value to that team, though. Because if he's not starting, you're thinking what? You're thinking Chris Paul's coming off the bench? Or is Clay playing the Chris small Paul's starting. Game? He's definitely starting. Chris Paul's starting. What, and, then you're playing, and then you're playing Curry at shooting guard? Curry's two. Curry's two. Clay's okay. three. Clay's three. Uh, Draymond's coming to Portland. I don't know. No, he's not. Oh. Draymond. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think Draymond's Draymond, back to the Warriors, though. Draymond plays the four. Or he plays the five. Okay. Um, and Kevon yeah, Looney. They, yep. Or Looney plays the five. Draymond plays the four. Okay. Or Wiggins is coming off the bench. Um, Wiggins play the four. Draymond five. I guess. Yep. The Wiggins can play the four. <laughs> Draymond play the five. Um, but my my thing to that that is a high offensive powered team. Uh, Are you? I just don't know why you take the ball out of Steph Curry when he's been the best point guard in the league the last ten years. But. Steph Curry is also the best scorer in the league for the last 10 years, too, as well, without the ball. Oh, he's, he's a, very good he running off a, ball screens, he's yes. He's a pure shooter. Best scorer has been Giannis. Let's keep it a band. 
He's the best shooter, not the best scorer. Best scorer. He's a, well, he's okay. Best shooter, the best shooter. Best you're, scorer. You're right. Best scorer has been Giannis. Best shooter. No, I'm actually, correction. Sorry, my bad. Um, Jokic. So, uh, the best shooter in the league. Who? And ha- probably has the well used to be one of the other top shooters in the league. He's kind of had a downfall last few years, but. That's also because he just had his best year of his career. Clay. Oh, sorry. I thought he was about Dame. Yes, Clay. Yes, Clay has had a little bit of a downfall. But uh, this also gives him an opportunity to be a secondary option out the gate. So and I don't. Draymond doesn't have to play the point guard. Anymore. I don't think Chris Paul will play a game in the Warriors jersey. I okay. think they're. I think they're going to deal him. Interesting. I keep this. I think they're going to deal him when free agency starts in a signing trade. I don't think so. I I have I see no way that lineup works with Chris Paul starting. If Chris Paul's coming off the bench and he's okay playing twenty minutes a game, fine, okay, whatever, that's fine. I mean, he's he's like thirty eight, thirty nine. He's he not should. He's not going to be playing full games. But I'll speak on a great trade for the Wizards. Uh, they fleece the Warriors. They've wasted all their draft picks. All their draft picks have been traded, squandered. They gave up on James Wiseman they so did. fast. He's injury prone. He's a freaking Zion. Chris Paul's uh, injury prone. No, now. Wait, wait. Wizards, Wizards. We've got to give the Wizards some credit. All their their youngins are under 25. They've got more draft picks. The Wizards. The Wizards have never been good, bro. They've never been good. No, but at least they're, now they're, ex- they're uh, accepting the rebuild. And they got rid of the Beal contract. They should have been, been accepting the, re- the rebuild since Trevor Ariza. They, like, they tried to go with a, a baby big three with... Dio, Porzingis, and um, Kuzma didn't work. One Kuzma's, year gave, Kuzma's trash. Yeah, they gave it one year. Porzingis is trash. He mm-hmm. hasn't been good since New York, and he wasn't good in New York. He wasn't whoa, good in whoa, Dallas. Whoa, whoa. He wasn't Okay, Dallas was iffy. New York was good, and he just had his best year of his career. In Washington? Yeah. yeah. He only played ha- half the season. What are you talking actually, about? Actually, he, he played the most games in his career, actually. He played yeah. like 60-something games. Yeah. Um, Which is terrible. No, it's not, that's <laughs> really good for the NBA today. <laughs> yeah. If you're playing like... 60 games, you're a god in today's game. Uh, 10 of the 15 Wizard players are over 25. Damn. Over 25? Over 25. At least seven of them are about 30. Are you talking about under contract? Yeah. It is what it is. Take that to me. Um, no, nah, nah, nah. No, nah, the Wizards did good, though, by blowing up that team because they got rid of Beal's contract, which is probably the worst contract in NBA history. Absolutely. I agree uh, with you. They got rid of Porzingis, who did... Trash. has one year left on his deal and they don't need to resign him. Garbage. And they're going to re- get rid of Kuzma too. They're yeah. going to rebuild. They have Garbage. They have um, Jordan Poole who's on an okay contract, not great. He has but, two more years on his contract. And w- it's like $25 million or something. Which uh, I honestly don't think he can carry the Wizards by himself. No, absolutely not. It's going to be a, it's gonna be a Bill situation to, all over again. He's there to score 20 something points it's a game. It's going to be a Bill situation. Loss. He's going to be a Bill situation again. Yeah. And, He'll and, love that. and now it's going to be the trash end of his career again. He's in his mid twenties. He'll be fine. But it's going to go downhill for him. He's going to keep so. getting traded on teams uh, from team to maybe. team. But, who, but also, he's going to he, be D'Angelo Russell. How about but, that? But does he does, uh, does he deserve better though? D'Angelo Russell. He's going to be D'Angelo Russell. He had an opportunity. To be honest, he had an opportunity to have a really successful career. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. But he blew it for himself. No, he did, did he blow yes, it? Yes, he did. Exactly. Or did Draymond blow it? No, exactly. he blew it for himself. Just because we argue. I'm not a Jordan Poole guy, but I thought I thought he got done wrong exactly. by Draymond and the team. I think Draymond, there should have been repercussions for that situation. For what? A video being leaked about them fighting? Yes. It's not them fighting. No. His teammate punching him. That's that's in-house something. That shouldn't be leaked to the public. Either way, he, there should have been a punishment. Which there was. Punishment is we fight every day. We got a home game. <laughs> we walk through the tunnel hand, hand and foot. I'm um, fighting until I win. My my thing is is yes, that became a distraction. Yes, that became something that Jordan Poole couldn't take his mind off of, and you can see it in his game. His game changed. I'm follow that nigga quick. Like his game changed. Yeah. And to me, that is a downfall, especially with young players. Especially nowadays. They everything becomes attack on their, their livelihood. Yeah. And and that is an issue. They don't know how to just play basketball anymore. It's about the show. It's about who can be the, the toughest guy and who can blow the biggest smoke. And it's not about basketball anymore. And I think this is, I think college, like this whole transfer pool has been a huge piece of, 
to this too as well. Go ahead. Uh, please ignore that uh, Washington number stat of the roster, by the way. The trades have not shooken up yet, so our fact dragon was a little thrown off by the website for that. So please ignore Damn. the Washington stat right now. That Online does not show the official rosters because right now Chris Paul is technically still a wizard because it still has not gone through yet. So the trades have not been completed yet. Once, what did I, I, once again, did? he apologizes. He was throwing some uh, wrong facts online. Exactly. Please. I know my fucking basketball stats. Y'all looking at a fucking champion. God damn it. Second uh, place. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think we're about to end the show. I'm back. back. <laughs> I'm back. All that shit pissed me the fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I have the most championships in the league. I'm the Jordan. Three, I'm the Jordan. Three of years, two championships? Five years, two champions. That's oh. all I got to say. <laughs> Woo, anywho, that, that was on the mic. You know, uh, I feel like next in next couple of episodes, because we're so sh- basketball aficionados over here, we're, we'll talk about uh, free agency. There will be a lot of stuff, and we'll have NBA predictions pretty pretty soon for this off season. But, um, and this was a spicy episode. Mm. Uh, are we talking African spice? Talking Mexican spice? Are we talking uh, European spice? What type of spice is it? Peruvian. Peruvian spice. All of it. Are we talking Italian spice. Uh, uh you know, uh, it was actually kind of ice spice. Ice spice. Look did at you, you, man. you. Oh my god, that's not. That's even I was man. feeling you. Like you a munch. You a munch. I don't know what that. Nigga, <laughs> so you lie. You know what that means. Does she like say that all the time or something? Yeah, it's like oh. the song. Oh, I don't know that song. Like that, that, that blank is a munch. Is that when she was talking about Lil Durk or whatever? I don't know. You know what a hey, munch is? Hey, don't say nothing about Lil Durk. His 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 minions actually listen. <laughs> his minions. <laughs> his minions listen. But, uh, Lil Durk, I like your music. Dead she, ass. But because she 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 like was in the wasn't she like dating like two different people at the same time or messing with two, two people I and they know. got into a fight and then she like was posted with one. This, I don't know. Do you no. know what a munch is? Oh. Yes. What's a munch? So <laughs> you know what a munch is? So you know what you do with a papaya, right? No? Yeah. Yeah. Munch. Anywho, this is Ice Bob. And then you know. Mm. Y'all thought I was feeling you? Bro. Y'all some munches. Bro. Y'all some munches. Bro. Get this guy off. Well, you're playing me off. So, if you like what we're doing, by all means, we want to have deep conversations where we have, um, where we welcome disagreement, but we don't welcome disrespect. Uh, if you don't like what we're saying, if you like what we're saying, like, comment, subscribe. This is Cartier Bob. This is Koss. This is Arthur. And we out. Peace. Probably wonder if I think of you. Sorry, I'm for the bag right now. Yeah, I'm for the bag right now. Yeah, for the bag that I never had. Yeah, you probably mad right now. Yeah, I got a two piece now. Oh shit, I think they call them groupies now.